Imagine a world where a beekeeper's knowledge of the environment could not only secure food supplies for humans, but native animals too. In Western Australia, we have commercial beekeepers who produce honey and bees for pollination by foraging on native vegetation all year round. These beekeepers migrate hives between nectar flows across the southwest region and learn where to shift their hives by tracking flowering patterns across the forest, woodlands and coastal heath. Although most of their honey is produced on public land, they have limited input into how these areas are managed. Over the last few decades, honeybee productivity has declined so much that beekeepers need two or three times as many locations to sustain their operations. My research aimed to understand what characteristics of native environments were valuable as honeybee forage and what processes were degrading those ecosystems. I conducted interviews and focus groups in the field with beekeepers, scientists and land managers. We visited nearly 100 sites across the region and triangulated observations with satellite imagery, historical records and scientific literature. I found that beekeepers value access to mature, nectar-producing plants like the eucalypts and banksias. In addition, sites that were moist, healthy and biodiverse produced the healthiest bees and most honey. I then identified three main threatening processes that were primarily responsible for the degradation of the value of their sites. And these were clearing of mature vegetation, inappropriate fire regimes and climate change. But it was the interaction between these three threats which ultimately impacted nectar availability at a landscape scale. For instance, more than a century of logging in WA's forests has removed so many mature trees that a beekeeper struggles to produce honey in state forests. And even though native timber logging has officially ceased, ill-timed prescribed burns and climate change are impacting the flowering cycles of those trees that remain. A loss of nectar producing resources doesn't just represent a loss of food for honeybees, but also for native animals too. Honey possums and black cockatoos are two examples of Western Australia's unique fauna which depend on nectar, pollen and seeds for their survival. And this loss of forage is likely a reason that their populations are struggling. I realise that beekeepers have detailed knowledge about how our environments in the southwest function that was not available in the scientific literature. And whilst introduced honeybees may not be popular with conservationists, my research highlights the critical link between healthy ecosystems and beekeeper livelihoods and also the impacts of current land management practices. Beekeepers have invaluable knowledge about key plant species and their hive serve as direct indicators of ecosystem health. So by integrating their perspectives into land management, we can achieve a rare win-win, supporting both beekeepers and native wildlife, as well as benefiting the environment. And my research offers the framework to achieve this and improve environmental outcomes for all stakeholders in this global biodiversity hotspot.